believe you'd try to gush me out in the open like that. After all, it's not just me anymore. I'm... what is it they say? Eating for two. I gobbled myself up a sweet little girl. And she was so very tasty. Venra sits in my belly, growing fat with power. In time, I'll vomit her up and have myself a fresh young hag to train. That's such a sweet, touching story about hag motherhood. Before we kill Auntie Ethel again, and this time for good, you want to stop by old Garlo's place in Act 3. You find three people on the bottom floor there, and they'll immediately think that you're one of the hag's servants. So you can just kill them because they can't take a joke. <laughs> or you could convince them with a persuasion roll that you're not working with the hag, and they'll tell you about Marina upstairs. Half-wit. You're clever. Valiant. An intruder. These people are under my protection. I'll not let you harm them. Hearken to my words, wicked creature. Return to the pit of evil from whence you came. I'll send your head back to your mistress. You wretched scum! Wait! Clyde smells no lie! Almost immune to fire damage, as well as probably all magic. Arrows didn't do any damage to it either, I just had to go up there and smash it with a melee weapon. Once you take out the doll, then it removes the curse from Marina, and then you'll encounter the true servant of the hag, which was just a red cap that was used in a disguise. I wanted to play a little longer. Auntie likes her toys broken. She's not going to be happy I had to get my hands dirty. That makes twice you've saved me. I'm starting to think you're my guardian angel. Thanks, but my mouth tastes like mutton, and I'm itching in hard to reach places. I'm going to make the witch that did this pay, and I have the means to do it. This group is made of survivors. People like me who've been hurt by hags. I brought them together to fight back. We trapped a hag to the city, but lost her trail. Right after she snatched a little girl. Once you remove the curse from Irina, she rewards you with the staff, as well as telling you about the hag that's in the city. Apparently her zombie husband will be here too if you let her go with him, but I kept him for myself. <laughs> So she says that she doesn't think this is the same hag as Auntie Ethel, but she's wrong. And she tells you that she knows how to stop this hag. She tells you to check out the safe beneath, and in that safe are two books that you want to read, as well as a crafting material. Once you read the two books, open up the crafting menu, which is the H key. And you want to create the hag's bane, which is under grenades. But you need a essence, any essence will do, so go under your essences. Once you craft a essence, then go back to your grenades and craft the Hag's Bane grenade. Next you want to head on over to the Blushing Mermaid Bar, as that's where the Hag is at. And you want to go over to this cellar door over here. Once inside there, jump up to this ledge up here and you'll see an invisible wall. Once you go through the invisible wall, there'll be a locked door there that 
requires a difficulty of 15 to lockpick. Next room will have a bunch of traps there, but you'll be able to disable most of them before encountering the enemy here. There's probably about four or five enemies, and there is a bunch of water here that makes it pretty difficult to walk through, so you want to try to avoid that if you can and just like jump over it onto the dry land next to them. Once you take them out in that room on the north side, there'll be another locked door. And once you go through there, there'll be a lever on the left hand side. That just opens up a secret doorway to the main entrance that we originally came in from, but you can't access it from here, it's just an exit. In that room, there'll be three healing mushrooms and that's the source of anti ethyl's regeneration capabilities so as soon as you take one out she'll just pop up no no hey, that wasn't very polite she clones herself and makes three other versions of herself she has invisibility just like the first time you fought her and all of her illusions have invisibility as well so be prepared for that. So you want to take out the mushrooms first and they are pretty durable and heal themselves so you want to have some pretty strong ranged attacks to take them out. Then you want to pull up your inventory and you want to throw the hags being grenade that we just created onto anti-ethyl. What did you? Stay down Vedra! going to paint the wall with your guts, you little shit stain. Pretty surprised the story and had a approval of this dialogue option. He's usually only approves of evil actions and evil dialogue options. After this, Mayrina will reward you with a pretty nice, very rare amulet that gives you an advantage on intelligence, wisdom, and charisma saving throws. If you like the video, hit that like and subscribe. Take it easy, and I'll catch you on the next one. doesn't fix anything but damn does it feel amazing thank you a living child that's what matters here call this a small thank you I look forward to finally being able to sleep with both eyes shut